and beeps. You know what time it is. It's that time again. It is that time. And I tried to get the bags out and, and in, look at you, sorted out in the tray and everything. I know. How good is it? Look at that. It's like my $5 Kmart tray and it's, it's felt, so it's like fairly quiet. I've seen those trays. I've, I've had them under the table for so long and I was cleaning up a bit today and I found it and like, hey, that would be good for bag five. So, oh, the other thing the other thing I've got to check is how's my mic volume? Um, really good. Perfect. Because I, I found out what it was. I turned the sensitivity down like in the back end of Windows so it, it killed my mic. Hold on a sec. So it killed my mic, not just for here, but for my radio ad as well. So I recorded an ad the other Ooh. night, and, you know, it was like, oh, and then I realized what I did wrong. Um, Daniel Sharples, hello, buddy. Everybody else that is just coming in tonight's show and each Wednesday, of course, is brought to you by Brick Bracket. Look at the banner sliding along the bottom of the screen. I'll tell you more about that shortly once we get our kick in from Twitch. So as we do on a Wednesday night, um, all the crew from Twitch – um, come in off uh, between the bricks, Dan's stream. So yep. if you can see my screen now, I'm opening up my phone. Um, and then if I go to my dashboard in Twitch, it tells me when Dan and his crew come across. So at the moment we are live here. I wonder if you can see it there. Oh, not really. Kind of maybe, yeah. So it tells us we're live, you know, what's happening, how many viewers, et cetera, et cetera. So at the moment, we are on zero viewers. Um, we are on four on Facebook and we are on three on YouTube. So we've got a couple of people. I mean, it ain't no six, seven, eight, nine thousand people stream that uh, Mr. MR Productions got the other day. Oh, man, isn't that some hot news in the community? <laughs> yeah. Man, have you seen some of the uh, reaction videos towards it? No, I've been pretty busy actually. I haven't. Oh man, it is it is spicy. It is it is it is fun and spicy. So, um, what happened was, uh, you know, I'll wait for the Twitch guys to come in. I'll wait for everyone to come in. We get that. We'll talk about brick bracket, and then we might even have a chat about what happened to M and R Productions, Mister Ryan, and, and those that are watching the stream at the moment. If uh, you do. Follow any Lego channels. MNR Production is, I think, you could probably put him as the definitely top five in the world. But we'll yeah. talk about what happened with him and Lego shortly. Uh, Shane Plummer, how are you, champion? Boom, boom, Mr. Boom, boom, Lego. How are you, buddy? Mr. Boom, boom. Hope you are well, my friend. Another night of hanging out with Bilzy and Bilzer and talking some smack about some plastic toys. Mac about plastic crack. Oh, you've got to be kidding. What'd you do? Dropped one of them little half blue Technic pins on the floor. Oh, dear. Don't, oh, don't you have a spare from a previous bag? Oh, I've probably got heaps of spares, but luckily my room's very clean and uh, I found it straight away. So we are good. Um, all right. So between the bricks, the legends from New Zealand – has raided us people on Twitch. Everybody, how is everybody going? So we're going to, um, we'll chase the chat for a little five minutes before we start getting into the build. So um, oh, yeah. I did say hi to Boom Boom. Thomas, uh, sorry, Shane Plummer. How are you, champion? You're with Shane. Maddie, Michael, and of course, uh, Andy and, and Kat is in there as well. All of our regulars. What's up, all you regulars? Welcome to the Bills and Bills of the Brick That Lego show, Lego show we do on the Wednesday. And shout out to all the crew out of um, Between the Bricks stable. Miss Lady Nocturnal and Miss April B. Hope you are both very well this evening as well. So first off, everybody, as you see, ones that are just jumped in and you get in early, uh, and if you don't know anything about it, Brick Bracket are our sponsors for my stream and my show. Brick Bracket are the ones that I can probably turn this screen and it might play a little bit of tricks. But if you look up there, um, you know, professional filming and all um brick bracket are the ones that make brackets so you can mount and mount all your technic cars your creator cars uh the bat wing or bat wing obviously already um mounts on the wall but they make all sort of really really awesome vertical brackets um and from whispers and not so subtle hints that i've been hearing 
There's some new angled style brackets on the way, but the best part about it, code Lambo, 20% off, boom. So get onto that if you're into that. So shout out to all the Twitch crew and all the people coming in. Now, the uh, here we go. I heard a rumor. Brick bracket hung a Millennium Falcon with a billet aluminium bracket. Oh. Dang. That's billet. That's like, that's fresh right there. Interesting. How much weight is in the Millennium Falcon? Yeah, though? how heavy, if, if anyone that knows, uh, tell me how heavy it is. Uh, between the bricks, off to sleep. Good on your brother. And I guess, obviously, the other hot topic in the Lego world this week, m and production goes bye-bye. See you later. Yeah. No longer a registered Lego fan media. So to give everyone a rundown what a, a registered Lego fan media person is or an RLFM or an ambassador, 14 kilos. Jesus, 14 kilos off a bracket. Not bad. Wow. You could probably hang a Mack truck carrying a Lamborghini off that bracket. Um, <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so m and Productions, a.k.a. Ryan, um, was a Lego ambassador. So what they do, just like our buddy between the bricks and Mr. Not-So-Cheap Jokes, they get sent <laughs> review sets. So, you know, they're part of a crew. They have a following. Let's review this set. Lego is a sensor to them. ABC. It's kind of like most sponsorship products work. Um, yep. M&R Bricks, to really dumb it down, push the envelope one too many times. Cross the cross the line one too many times and lost his ambassadorship. Um, and, man, hasn't the Lego community gone friggin' nuts? Yeah. They have gone mental. But, and you know what, to... I guess the the viewers' credit to Lego's credit to everybody that does um, know about M and R and and you know how he was, and he tells you himself that you know he's a little arrogant person and he's he's not the the friendliest person in town. Um, nobody is surprised to see him go. So no, that's life. It is what it is. So uh, yeah, I mean, I've watched a few of his reviews. To me. I mean, all credit to him. He's got an explosive YouTube page, and and you know that's a hard work. That's a grind in itself. No matter what your personality is like, so you got to give someone, you got to give people credit there. Yeah. Um, so credit to anyone that's you know up in the mid 300, 400 thousand followers. You don't get there by fluke. Um, so other than that, some of his reviews, and I guess he he went against a, a couple of guidelines every now and then where he was showing leaks which technically he shouldn't be. Yeah. So that that kind of hurt him as well, you know, dropping the leaks and, and um, you know, Lego don't like leaks as it is. And if your own ambassador is dropping a leak, well, I mean, you're asking to get a punch in the face, aren't you? Really? Well, there, there's there's rules to follow with, you know, Lego, Lego don't just send out sets to review to anybody. There are rules and yeah. regulations here. To follow so. so so anyone anyone in the land that has you know some pull and power uh the slot's clearly open me and bills will clearly fill it the brick that show will clearly fill it with 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 our happiness <laughs> uh where does book five start because i've got continuous i've got the digital instructions what um number uh, okay so book five starts at step 858 right Which, so, um, yeah, as uh, Bilsey said, we're doing box five or bags five today, which is all that gloriousness. And uh, this is the end result of bag four from last week. So we're, it, looks we're, like a, it looks like a chopped up car wreck. It really does, doesn't it? But we're starting to actually get somewhere. And Look I, how actually, greener, more saturated yours is on camera compared to my one. I saw for the first time, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the colour difference that everybody is. Okay, so I did. I don't know if you noticed. Um, mine wasn't on the rear wing. So um, mine, so I did this on the stream the other day. See the second Technic bar in? Oh, yeah. See how if I put it at a certain angle, you can see it's lighter than the one next to it. Ah. Okay, so mine are all exactly the same colour. Like even with my dodgy eyesight, they're, they're perfectly fine. But this element here is a totally different shade of green 
and it's only that element and it's repeated over and over in the wing. So you mean that, which one? It is that element there. Totally different color. Look at that, you can see it there. It's like washed out almost. Yeah, it's the only one out of all the lime green for me so far, touch wood. Yeah, if I see if I can bring it to my, where my finger is. This color. Yeah, that's it there. Yeah, you can kind of, it's not really, my light's very bright up top. So interesting not though. Enough, not enough to annoy me, but for a no. $600 car, they should have gone. Um, when I did do my stream, I was very angry. Um, very, oh, g'day Pete, g'day, uh, what Dan say, cross the line a number of times. He wasn't, yeah, totally, man. It, you know, shit happens. Um, yeah, the line pops on bills just because my light is right there, so it washes out any color. I mean, if I turned that light off or down, it'd probably go, let's see, probably like a real nice green, maybe. It just goes darker, still stays a bit washed out. Either way, shizzle happens. But the other thing, yeah, as I was building, and how long did it take to build this bloody, um, the bonnet? But I'm so glad, and, and I, was, I was actually getting worried that it doesn't clip in. Oh, yeah. I, I was like, no, no, don't clip in. Like, the engine's so bloody beautiful. So for those that don't know, those that are watching with the Lamborghini, the engine car, the engine's under here, and it's a really, really good-looking engine. But it's a matter of just – it just slots in there. It's just literally sitting there weighted. So when I do mount this to the wall, this piece is not going on. Well, I'm I don't know. I was looking at that, and it's got quite a decent – tooth on that to grip so oh yeah no no so it, it'll hold but i mean yeah. i don't like the look of it oh okay yeah no i'm not a fan either i'd rather see the the meatiness yeah, of the, the only thing I, I think maybe we could probably make something if it covers from here down so these brackets down could probably get covered as but that engine like that's oh. a sexy bloody engine you know what i mean just take the black out of the middle so you can still see it yeah but everything everything rolls off the black so you kind of can't you could, oh, I mean, yeah. you know, we we you could you can you can mock something up. Not that hard. It's Lego. It can be modified, and that's what I'm going to do because I want green lights. And uh, you know, we're going to talk to obviously um, glow bricks, right. but I want green lights in this when it's done to you know have that green glow on the wall. So yeah. Uh, what did April say? Um, might be able to tinker with your saturation settings in your cam, but no biggie. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not fast. It doesn't bother me. Doesn't 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 affect me at all. Um, ASC ASCW forty four. How are you? All right. So you know what the other thing is because we stream from a central platform and we go out to Twitch and YouTube, we can't play with all the cool Twitch um, you know emoticons and little screen splashes. But when your new table gets set up, we might be able to change the game a little bit. That's true. So. How, are you in that room now? No, not yet. Not yet? No, not yet. Uh, maybe maybe by next stream. We'll see how we go. Well, yeah. Well, I'm assuming on our Monday stream, there's going to be a lot more talk of uh, good old Mr. M&R Bricks. So, yeah. There's a couple of things to talk about. And, and I, have, I still haven't even built the IKEA storage box yet. I, I don't – I mean – one, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I haven't got nothing to put on it or in it to get excited to build it yet. You're done right. But you know what I was thinking? What, yeah. if, what if you saw, I mean, I know it's kind of pointless, but what if you side stacked it? I actually saw something on insta the other day i can't remember who it was but somebody side stacked and did a a display in it and mounted it and it uh it didn't turn out too bad actually oh like a like a, it'd be like a little um what are they called the diorama like a, type. yeah diorama or vignette type thing um i suppose yeah. it'd be it'd be cool i mean yeah i mean i like i like the um the one color dioramas but, you know, you don't want to put a white border around a full-colour diorama. I think you've got one or two of them, don't you? The monochromes, yeah. I Actually, like we've got heaps, heaps at work. They're, they're really good. 
Um, all right. So I'm just looking at the chat. While we had their bills, like, yeah, we had some crazy – about half an hour ago, or about yeah. an hour ago, my internet wasn't working. And then about half an hour ago, we had sideways rain where, like, you know, it was torrential. And then just kind of disappeared. Yeah. It was incredible, yeah. And then, yeah, like, like Queensland weather, it just disappeared as fast as it came. Yep. See you later, alligator. All right. <laughs> yeah, it lasted about half an hour or so. Yeah. Well, I mean, it lasted long enough for you to go out and get, you know, a decent full-on video. Mate, your windmill was on fire. That was <laughs> spinning like a beast. It was gold, wasn't it? Lucky it's anchored in. It would have took off. Oh, it, it would have done something. Um, have... The guy, there's a guy at our backyard. So, for for I mean, it doesn't really matter. For those who don't know where I live, I live on a hill, and the neighbours behind my house live down. So, if I look out my back windows, I kind of see the top of his roofs and his trees. But he's been out there the last week um, on top of the trees, on top of his ladder. So, he's in our window level height now, like you can peek in. Oh. Um, but... He's chopped all the trees down at the back, so it looks really weird. Yeah, right. But, yeah, I can't wait for the morning that I see him, and I'm going to pretend to walk around the house naked and just give him a good old neighbourly wave. You're going to pretend to walk around the house naked? No, like I'm going to see him and then, you know, get naked real quick and then be like, oh, oops, didn't see huh. you there, buddy. <laughs> and then he'll never climb that tree again. Do you reckon his vision's that good? <laughs> wow. You left it open. Geez, I reckon I'm going to get about three pages of this done again tonight. Yeah, it's um, the last the last one was hectic, like how far it came. Yeah, I think this is going to be the same. Um, who got in the, what did they say in the chat? Uh, where, where did the beer go, Bilza? Oh, yeah, I don't know, it's a changing it up a bit, I guess. Uh, Andy hitting golf balls over his house. No, I live that much on like a like the way the hill drops behind my house. If you hit the golf ball half decently, you probably clear about six houses. It layers down pretty, pretty steep, pretty fast. But no, I mean, it's good because I'm pretty sure his tree was almost ready to fall on my shed. Oh, it's probably a good thing it's gone then. I think that's why he's doing it. And it was a gum tree too, so I was leaving nothing but shit all in my backyard because it grew over at an angle towards me. Oh, there's nothing worse than that and the leaves in your pool. Oh, man. The, the pool is the worst. The backyard you can handle. Yeah. Don't, don't be messing my pool. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the same. The neighbor has a tree that loses its pods. Every every year, and they clog the skimmer box. Hate it. First world problems, eh? Listen to first us. First world, uh, first world Queenslander problems, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Do any Melbourne people have pools? Or I mean, ice rinks. <laughs> uh, Andy said gum trees love falling. Yes, they do. Doesn't take much for a little bit of a rot in a gum tree. And good night. And then the wind and rain we've been having lately. No wonder he's cutting it down. Yeah, that's Wixie, right. big Wixie, what's up, buddy? Hey, hope you're well, my friend. Yep. So, people, the reason I'm not putting too many chats up on the window, um, on the screen, it doesn't. So, when you're on Twitch, a lot of the chats, and you know, the chat screen automatic because the software we use, we, we got to click each chat if we want them to pop up. The reason I don't have that is because I'm on a different screen because I'm using digital instructions. So I'm not being rude to not show your chats, but I can still see your chats on the monitor behind it. Yeah. Yep. Um, and obviously, same with Bill. Bill can see the chats, but he doesn't have the admin to show the chats. And if you did, like like happens to, to me most most weeks, you bloody lose um, momentum and the build takes... Oh, I suppose it doesn't matter anymore. you got time to build during the week now. Um, yeah, effectively. I do. So without mentioning any names, did you find out if it was said partner? Not yet, no, because I've okay. I've worked from home for the last two days, so I'm back in oh, the office. Um, so 
Yeah, potentially tomorrow. But talking about partners, people in the chat, anyone excited for uh, Lego Masters Season 3 or you kind of – is it a done thing? Are you, are you guys over it? Obviously, you're all going to watch it, but is the hype still there like it was before it even – you know, back before even Season 1 began? Are you still, you know, on the edge of your seat kind of keen to see what happens or it's kind of like are you, you know, yeah, let's wait and see what happens, um, but not as pumped as we were – three years ago i'm keen just for the um challenges and stuff i don't really care too much about the contestants we i'm keen know. for the challenges and i'm keen to have you know who on speed dial to pick on their crap challenges <laughs> <laughs> i want to be a producer like the guys on the set that, that run each team yeah that'd be the most fun job You know, like the guy that you met that left his laptop at your house? Yep. Yeah, I want to yep. be him. Man, imagine the secrets that would have been on that computer. Yeah, I know, right? That reminds me, I want to get another tattoo or update mine, finish mine. I haven't had a tattoo since. That was my last tattoo. When was your last really? tattoo? Longer than that? Uh, yeah, it was actually. Last one was the Lego brick. Oh no, the NES controller. But yeah, I'm, I'm due. I'm due for something new. How funny is my dad? Dad's in the chat. You forgot to ring. <laughs> I didn't forget. I was on the phone to Telstra for over two hours. Now pissing me off. My internet died. Oh. Uh, and then, and then, yeah, internet died. So then I panicked to get this up online. So I didn't technically didn't forget. I just forgot. <laughs> uh, what's the part I need? What did Michael say? And our live feeds while they broadcast. Yes. So the live feeds will be back, people. We will be streaming, live feeding and chatting. And, you know, maybe this year, because we got the format pretty locked in, pretty good, we might get just a random guest out of the chat through the commercial breaks or, you know, we'll, 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 we'll shake it up a little bit. Yeah. But, yeah, we're definitely doing it again. That's, 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 on, that's on the board for sure. Yeah, definitely. And we, we kind of already know a handful of the Lego Masters. Um, so I might try and reach out to Endemol Shine and get their permission to have them on the stream as well, like we did with, or we tried to. Some of the Lego Masters ran a bit scared last year because of the whole contract issues or con scared of what they didn't know what they can and couldn't say. Yeah, it was a little bit different uh, for Season 2 as opposed to Season 1. Yeah. Um, you, you guys were a bit more of guinea pigs. In uh, season two, so I uh, can't find, can't always the way, can't find it. Uh, Bron, what's up, Bron? How are you? Billsy, get a Telstra like a <laughs> <laughs> mate. Especially today, like it was so frustrating. So, for those that know about internet, you've got your download speed and your download, and then your upload speeds and stuff and my downloads were, were amazing i was getting like 100 megabits a second which is perfect internet my upload speed i wasn't even getting one yeah something wrong there but you know what the you know what the result and the end outcome was yeah what happened telstra didn't help i came in and and i so i reset the telstra modem and my my router couple of times that you know that's always the go to you know the power power cycle of course I tried that three or four times good. three or four times three or four didn't work didn't work and then i forgot that there's a little black nbn box ah yep so i went and reset the nbn box and it fixed it ah. but still telstra drop kicks and the worst thing was you tell them what's wrong and then you get the textbook, you know, 
did you do this? Did we do this? And then at the end, I'm like, you were no help. Goodbye. Oh, please fill out this survey on how we went. Do you really want me to? It's not going to be pretty. Oh, I didn't, no, you don't even waste your time, mate. You just close the window. Exactly. Because you can't call them anymore either. It has no, to be through the online chat. Yep. You can't, you can't speak to anybody. And because the online chat, um, what it what it does, it it's called a smart. What's it, what do they call it? Smart, smart fix something something. Anyway, it detects all of your problems, your internet speeds, your modem, all that while you're chatting to them. So it's running tests in the background. Yeah, right. That's why they do it. They, so you know they're not they're not just going off your word of mouth. Yeah. They're actually hacking into your bank. Sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, what did Andy say? I don't know all about internet. All I know is that I use my mobile data all the time and the home Wi-Fi sucks. Um, let me go back to the chat. Let's yeah, see how people... Here. Teenagers right. use all the Wi-Fi. Here we go. I can bring some chats back up now. Bron already said hello. Andy, you on? So your net is down... How do you contact them? Well, that's it, Green Jupiter. How yeah. do you contact them? Well, that there's actually an FAQ on the net, and it says use your mobile phone, enter your account. But it's like, but what the hell? You know, like, yeah, oh, mate, it's just fresh. I, and I get it. You know, it's no one likes ringing up a phone company. Even back when I had my first Ericsson's and Nokia's, even back then, phone companies were known to be drop kicks. Oh, an Ericsson T28. I had a Ericsson 768. Dad, check Messenger. All right. Because <laughs> you didn't ring. Yeah. Check your Messenger. Oh, who has an attachment? Probably a link oh. to the No, yeah, so it's definitely a link. Um. How funny. What have I been telling you that I've been looking at the last few days? Oh, yeah. Yeah, look, the link Dad sent. <laughs> oh, I looked at that one. It was like a 1984 or something. Um, half cab, 93 motor. Doesn't say what the age of the... Oh, no, so you'll find most half cabin boats from the 80s are all yellow and white. Yeah. So, yeah, even though you... Th you think you might have looked at it, and then you got to really look at it because you actually haven't. That's just another one that looks identical. Yeah, right. But I've got two. I've got two pending at the moment. Okay. One guy's lost his keys, so we can't do a water test, which is a bit sus. Oh. Because I'm only gonna I'm only gonna buy the boat, or well, actually swap the jet ski for most. I'm trying to swap the jet ski first. Um, and the first question I always ask, you know, when was it last in the water, and yep. can we water test it? Anything more than six months, mate, see you later. Not interested. Even though they go, no, nah, last time I was in, it started, it was fine, it ran. Nah, do not ever buy a boat that hasn't been in the water longer than six months. There's going to be problems. Um, and then the second, yes, first question, how long has been in the water? Second question, can we can we uh, water test it? And you can pretty much tell from them two questions uh, what, you know, if it's going to be a decent boat or a crap boat. And then when you go check the boat, then you check for soft spots and weak motors and all the bits you're supposed to. But at least them two questions get you out of the ballpark into something that could be a good deal. There you go. We're not just building Lego. It's bike Boeing boat buying tips 101. Yep. Oh, only because half of my family have owned that many boats. I mean, I've owned a boat that was literally a piece of crap and – I know how to mask a boat to sell it. <laughs> Don't ever buy a boat off Billsy, hot tip. <laughs> but if you want to buy a car, I always keep my cars at 100% mechanical. Yeah, that's true. I'll back that. Yeah. Um, talking about cars, does does the other car still whistle at high speed? <laughs> um. I think it's actually a little bit better, but, yeah, it does. I'm assuming it's going to be that little plastic thing, something down there that's plastic. I, I, think so. I, come home, I come home and Googled it. I couldn't even find anyone else with that problem. Yeah. 
I think so. I, I think pushing those clips in made a difference already. Yeah. So, like it's it's not perfect, but it's better. Um, what yellow is for safe so they can see you in the water. Yeah, maybe back in the 80s that was a thing, but no one makes yellow and white boats anymore, Dad. Everyone does. Like, look how many black and silver boats there are around now. But, yeah, no, the, most of the boats I've been looking at have been white and yellow, uh, all either all white or... So what's that guy want for that? He wants five and a half for that. What size is the motor? Fifth? No, he's asking too much. So most half cabs... I'm finding half cabs, good condition with all the bits and pieces. I'm talking like life jackets, fish finders, you name it, ready to go in the water. Um, yep. With a 60, 70 horsepower motor for four grand. Yeah, right. It's a buyer's market. So not not even trying to buy a house, but you're trying to buy a boat for sure. So now that guy's asking too much, Dad. Hustle him. Hustle in. Or the other thing is you see people selling a boat because of, oh, there's a slight problem, you know, oh, I'll knock it down. But then in the back of my mind, you know, if you're half mechanically minded, it's like, <laughs> that's a $50 fix. Yeah. That's where I get my cheap cars. Makes sense. Huh, my, my other brother in Sydney is in the chat by a Malibu. As if I've got a spare 50 grand... To burn. <laughs> uh, Wixie's got a boat. Andy said, I had a, I had a boat. My son called the floating heap of shit. <laughs> Fair enough. Bills has got a boat, a big red one in his front yard called a Commodore. Yeah, not mine. <laughs> Henry, how are you, champion? Welcome. Welcome to the boat stream oh, where we build Lego to, to fill in our time, but we mainly talk about boats. <laughs> hey, you'll be catching up with young Henry soon, won't you? That's it. Uh, not this weekend. Next weekend, heading to Sydney to hang out with H Doll, Big Henry. So for those that are in Wollongong in two weeks' time, the Gong Log are having a Lego convention exhibition. Uh, me, Henry, and Cade will all be down there taking the tequila shots, you know, eating sushi off the – I mean, no, yeah, we'll be you – know. <laughs> Wow, look out, Wollongong. Mate, we're about to put Wollongong on the map. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's going to be good. I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to it. And if we can and, and you know, we, we find the time, you know, after Henry tries to, you know, throw away all the screaming fans, we're going to try and stream while nice. we're down there. So... Um, that hopefully will be a thing. Hopefully. No. Oh, what have I done here, Bill? No idea. It's uh, I've already <laughs> done a bit of backtracking tonight. You have? Yep. Did it a little bit discreetly earlier. Telling you, man, you got You got to start getting into the the, the bills you build habit. Put the parts in front of you and go from there. No, no, it wasn't. So it wasn't that. I was building that black plate that you're building now. Yeah. And I realised that the panels with the oh, – I don't have one to show you, but, oh, these panels in black, I had yeah. them the way up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought, oh, surely that's going to matter. So I took, went to the effort, pulled it all apart, flipped them over, put it back together, now I finished the thing, made no bloody difference. I could have left them the wrong way up. But uh, it might make a difference I later on, a bit smoother. No, um, I would have known it was imperfect, so it would have annoyed Henry me. Next, next week, well, Henry, ha, cross streams. <laughs> Bro, you don't cross streams. That's dangerous. Haven't done that since the 80s. <laughs> but if I was going to cross streams of anyone, Henry, it'd be you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God help us. What? I've heard the stories about Asians and, oh, wait, we're not talking. <laughs> Lego stream. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've stuffed up. Uh-oh. 
Well, maybe. Uh, I, I can't tell. Um, I don't know. It's just not going in its hole properly. That See, that was when you start crossing streams. There we go. It's slotted right in. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good eye. So those those that have come here for a speed build, we apologize. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're certainly not. But what we do do is we finish the rest of this off camera and ready to start the last box. Yeah, we will be. Hey, because there's only six boxes. Um, yeah, we'll be on to box number six next week. So, so it'll be box six and the wheels next week. And then the following week, it'll be just kind of like a catch up. We'll talk about it. We might be able to, you know, shake some, shake some uh, people up and either get a, a bracket up here or some lights or we'll, we'll try to work something out. Yeah, we need to, we need to hang it. We need to light it. Hopefully I'll, uh, I'll be in my new Lego room by then. And, Which is a uh, wicked. I was lucky enough to see the Lego room the other night, and it's cool. It's it's very neat. Makes it look like you know, like that that cleanliness of it makes it look even better. Yeah, I, I got uh, I got Walla Envy, and I had to uh, step it up a notch. Walla Envy is he even in the stream tonight. I haven't seen him chat yet. Actually, no, it's, it's I did, and I uh, I'm getting kicked out because of uh, teenagers, so I need to, to uh -huh. go find another room. So I chose a good one. There you go. These things happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How am I supposed to fit that in there? I was going to say something. What I see in the chat, there was. Is that Mario by Bilza? What? Oh, where's Mario? I don't know. Can't see it on oh. your screen. Behind me, maybe. Is that. Does that come up on the screen, maybe? Oh, just in the corner, it does. How's that oh, for a good sneaky eye? Um, so, yeah. people, we are getting halfway through our stream tonight. Don't forget. Um, and, you know, we, we will make a, a proper full video when it comes out. Um, but as we stream and as the, the bloody, the freaking legends down at um, Brick Bracket, they do support us. Um, so, you know, if you've ever kind of sitting on the fence or I'm in an hour and about, you know, getting the bracket up, the you know, it's, it is good. Get the bracket up. Don't just nail and, you know, super glue and double side tape your stuff when you want to hang it up. Use these guys. Um, a, it supports the Lego community. And you now the guys are bloody legends. Yeah. They're not just, you know, winging it in and selling Chinese cheap products. These guys designed everything and make them all themselves. Um, and and they just look really good on the wall too. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, on top of that, it's, um, it's, it's not like you're buying – we're not telling you to go out and buy a piece of crap just because, you know, they want to – um, we're not just telling you to buy it just, because they, just because we might get a, a free one off them. I'm not telling you to buy it just to do that. Like, you know, and and I'll tell you now. Um, and I told Dan from day one, the the guy that is the runner, at, the owner of um, Brick Bracket. I said to him, I said, if they're a piece of shit, I would have told you, mate. Like, I'm not afraid to tell someone, you know, what I think if it's a genuine. Maybe not say it's a piece of shit, but hey, you've done this wrong. Maybe you should look at it this way, type thing. But yeah, you get what I mean, people. Just like the same way people told me my mocks is a piece of shit. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> You're hanging with the wrong people. You do all right. But talking about mocks, um, do you reckon they're going to bring a sports theme out again? I don't know. There's there's a few hints towards it based on, um, you know, like I like to do little Easter eggs here and there. So the sports themes in uh, recent city sets are kind of hinted towards it. So hopefully um, that we're due for a, a new sports theme. You know what we should we should do after this Lamborghini? We should yeah. try try set up and get back into doing like mocks i wonder how we could work it right i wonder if we could do like a a fan a fan a viewer build mock system if that makes sense so actually yeah 
let's let's do that. Let's utilize this new Lego room. Let's people in the chat give us the idea and we will sit down and we will mock it, we will create it, we will perfect it. You guys can but help if, along the but way. Each week, yeah, but each week. So, you know, say they, they might want just say for another say we'll keep on sports theme, right? Say, all right, guys, build yep. start building a basketball court. We do what we can in the stream, and then next week, then we take on and be like, okay, what do we add next? What do you want next? You know, so it could could yeah. morph and change each week. But yeah, let's totally do a bricked it collab. And let's see if we can get something that um, we can submit into Lego Ideas. Ooh. See, now, you, now, you, now you're talking spicy. Well, let's, let's use this uh, Lego organization for good. Well, okay. Here's the thing. Let's use it until the next, the next Technic 1 by one, 1 to 8 scale comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I mean, we've still got 20 million cars and we've got, but, you know, why not utilise it for the good, you know, and make people involved, bring people in, use the, use their ideas. We'll, we'll be your little guinea pig slash gopher tool people. Yep. No, Dan, we can't have head-to-head -head mocks. If you've seen Bill's set up, that's just unfair. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Or if we have head-to-head -head mocks, I'm going to go hang out with Paco. Because you, you, you know, you know, Paco's got, you know, a setup that's better than the bloody brick pit on the Lego Masters show. <laughs> well, he's, he's or you know, we could even, okay, we'll keep our Wednesday nights like this because this is a good time, a good slot. We've got our regulars. We could maybe work in a day somewhere where, um, um, we could go to your workplace and stream and mock oh absolutely um we can we can arrange that you know and that could that could help the exposure of said workplace too yeah we could do that and then that would make um that would make other people set up just like a lunchbox well that's <laughs> oh and so it's 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 actually funny talking about uh bulk lego and you know pizza and pieces i said to the person at work that had that lego Here's Judy's email. Oh. Give her a call. Tell her Billsy sent you. Blah blah blah. She goes, "Oh yeah, I've already talked to Judy." <laughs> oh, there you go. So, I was, but then I said, "I said, drop my name. Trust me, it'll never hurt. Won't hurt to drop my name." Yeah. But yeah, no, I think that's a good idea. All right. What are people saying in the chats? Paco's setup is awesome. Bloody earth, it is. So as you see, yes, Millennium Falcon, head-to-head -head mock comps, Billsy Bills are perfect, Michael. I need a tank to fit my new truck. 22 studs across or thereabouts. Yeah. See, there's people that mock, and then there's people that are silly. And, Michael, you're silly. <laughs> um, you know what's funny or even crazy? You know, you you now working in wholesale Lego scene. Imagine yeah. how many people would have setups out there collections out there you know brent waller rooms out there that are better than anyone we've ever seen combined and they're not in the community i guarantee there'd be heaps oh yeah for sure and they're sliding out now obviously they'd be regulars you you, you know oh you're a familiar face you're a familiar face yep yeah your your networking is going to be massive Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it may be. I think so too. Man, this, like, well, I know we said it on the Bugatti, I know we said it before, but it's so just mind-blowing how cross-hatched and backwards and forwards and that goes with that hole and there's a hole sitting there for an hour later that's going to drop in. It just blows oh. you away with this stuff, eh? I would hate to ever have to pull a Technic build like this apart. Oh, yeah. It's never coming apart. 
like perfect perfect example is this um you know you, you just what was the oh the wing how the wing just all come together and then did you realize i didn't even realize until i was trying to move it that it was already all set up and ready to play and lift up and down with the lever how good is that like you pull the little so i'll show you guys on the screen let me blow it up because i'm just i'm just fart assing around i'm not digging into the build i mean I'm, I'm digging into it but i'm just talking shit more than anything so in here in front of the seat you probably see it there's a black technic i know black's hard on the camera but there's a black technic lever right there see i'm like flicking the bean it's like it's right there so if i can find the right angle so see how i can lift it drop it lift it drop it lift it drop it what it does lifts it drops it lifts it drops it lifts it whoop, whoop. and it's almost like this this lamborghini is that mean looking it almost looks like a um decepticon transformer from this angle it does doesn't it like a really so you do this and it's like it's like hey hey baby how you <laughs> doing <laughs> But yes, very cool mechanism to lift and lower the wing. Um, and then deep inside the side of the seats, there's another one here, which I can't see where the rod pulls on the back. Someone will tell me. I think it's at the top that pulls the back. Anyway, I'm assuming that's for the door. So there's a whole leverage system that goes down the sides as well. So, Oh, yeah, there is. The thing's a beast. Playability, 10 out of 10. Ava uh, uh, pricing availability, 1 out of 10. Oh, is it hard to get, is it? Uh, for less than six, 700 bucks at the moment, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. The hardest thing about Mox is doing something that hasn't been done. Of course it is. It's Unless you're talking to Kale. He reckons that, that what he built's never been done. I remember, I remember Bill when I built that train for the um, Wild West. Yep. Even though I changed little bits and pieces, but generally most of the the, the, the design come from someone else. Yep. Um, and I, I remember Kale tried to message the owners and the directors of the Canberra show that I went to, and jumped up and down and said, "That's not a real mock." Bills it into a he paid for those instructions. They're not real. You can't put him in the show. They're not real. I was like, mate, you idiot. whatever. Whatever. Oh, still, it's just funny that you know to go to that length to uh you know, I want to build something he's built just for shits and giggles. <laughs> build a robot for China. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, did you see the – I mean, actually, I won't name who because I know they watch the stream every now and then. Did you see that um, the the perfectly placed hot dog van they put in front of that robot at Brickvention? Yes. <laughs> that made my weekend. So for those of you who don't know, to his credit, again, I don't know why I give him credit, but I do. Kale built a really good robot – oversized minifig that was like a livable town like an like a fallout you know it was like massive huge minifig but it was hollow and it was like minifigs were living inside this maxi fig. anyway it was a female robot and he had a little town on a display next to it as well and there was a hot dog cart on wheels so i think a normal speed racer size car but with a brick built hot dog and the robot was sitting there with its legs like this so you can imagine where the hot dog ended up. Yep. Um, actually, I wonder if... <laughs> and that just goes to show that you don't need to own the mock to be creative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. What? <laughs> All right, here we go, people. About to make your night, everybody. <laughs> there she is so there's there's the robot which is a pretty wicked design 
and there's a conveniently placed hot dog van. <laughs> oh, wait, I better not click on it. It would give me the name on who sent it to me. I won't do that to him. Mrs. Mr. Robot or Mr. Robot or actually, oh, no, it's a, it's, no, it's a 2021 socially awkward robot. Yeah, as I was going to say, it doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah, but how good is it? It's it's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I have not. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's go back to quad view. All right, there we go. See, how good are our Wednesday night streams, mate? <laughs> how many is my Twitch still open? I wonder how many um is still hanging out with us from Dan's stream. Oh, we got seven. That's not bad. It's better than none. That's not bad. Actually, I watched Dan's stream yesterday. Uh, him and him and April were having a little oh, bit of fun. Right. Was were they live or was it from Saturday? Uh, no, they were live yesterday. Were they talking about um, Ryan M and R? Uh, no, not not at that point. No. Okay. Jeez, look how far you've got. I'm bloody. Actually, I, um, I was working from home, so I probably shouldn't say I was watching it in case my boss is watching. Ah, well, does your boss actually watch us? No, they they are uh, they do massive days from before the sun, so they're doing good now. Guaranteed. Oh, they're too cool for us. I get it. Too busy. Too busy. That's what it is. You know what? I can't find. Another one of these in black. Um, should have one. Keep looking. <laughs> Not wrong. Lego never gave it to me. It was missing. Oh. oh, that's a cool printed brick. What is it? Oh, I didn't get one of them. No, I did. Keep, keep looking. <laughs> Uh, what's the chats? What's cats say? Billsy talks shit and falls behind on the building. <laughs> yeah. I talk shit. I, ent I entertain cat every week, and that's that's what I cop. God damn. Yeah. You just he, wait till we come to Melbourne, mate. But he's the he's the radio guy. I'm just the pretty guy. Bill, Bill's the filler, and I'm the fuller. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not the fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, talking about fluffing, today Evie come home from childcare and she's sitting in, in our lounge room, and then all of a sudden she starts, like, doing this weird giggle. It was like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> and it got louder and louder and funny and funny. So I start laughing because she's laughing. And then she's <laughs> laughing harder because we're both laughing. I don't know what was going on. We're both like almost in tears. And then all of a sudden it hit me. Whoa, the worst <laughs> part I've ever smelt. It was like she was building me up and then he, Dad, cop this. Oh. oh, it was like a funny as laugh fest. And I'm thinking, this is this is funny as you're in the best mood ever. And then wham. Such a lady. Oh, wet fish in the face. Hey, I really don't have that part. Really? And that's not that's not kind of that's not a part you can't mistakenly put anywhere else. No, it's pretty good. Unless really. that was one of the ones that fell off. Hold on, I'll go through it again. It is black though, so they do tend to hide. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean it's a big part. Cat, you can come to Melbourne. I'll run the other way. What are you, your next girlfriend? <laughs> and that was a part that was in the box. Hey, in this number five, it wasn't from the extra bag. Um, nope, wasn't from the extra bag. It was definitely in this box. All right. Well, let's just... I actually, I know I have a spare one. Oh my god, I'm so freaking stupid. Never mind. You've already used it. 
No, it's in my friggin' hand. <laughs> oh my god. It's been oh in my god. hand the whole time. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Did you use it to scrape to look for it? Yeah. You idiot. Oh man. See, huh. told you Wednesday stream day, they are the best. Oh yeah. no. What am I doing? Natural blonde, mate. Natural blonde. <sighs> anyway, on with the build. Yes. Back, we need we need oh no, I was gonna say I was gonna say we need some like backing music. You know, you know it's funny, like I like the amount of numbers, you know, when we hover around 20, I like the amount of numbers we're having because it's a good audience and we can still relate and chat and you know back and forward and you watch the, you, you watch the guys that do the lego streams that are getting you know a thousand plus views and yeah awesome thousand plus views is that's what you want as a youtuber as a streamer that's you know that's that's the the big goal but you know do they have any interaction um, yeah is there any interaction like you, you know do they do they talk to any of their fans or do they just catch one one message every hundred chats to fly up the screen or you know it's kind of like yeah, exactly. Do you get shout out like the big ass? Yeah, mate. A Billsy and Bills are a brick that shows shout out is better than like me talking about, you know, DJs on air. Talking about DJs on air, did I tell you the other day how much a certain DJ is worth per show? Uh, no, you didn't tell me. So, okay, no, I mean, I don't know, but you're not. So, have you ever heard of a DJ called Fisher? Mm, no. He has a track called Losing It. It's a very – if you heard the track, you'd know it. it's it's a very popular track. It's been on – it was number one all around Australia. It's been on ads. It's been – you know, it's a very, very popular track. Yep. Anyway, so Fisher comes from Palm Beach. And Palm Beach or Sydney Palm Beach? No, nah, Palm Beach, Corumban. Yep. Made it worldwide. Like, this guy made one track. His track was that popular, that strong, that powerful, that good. Everybody knows it. And I guarantee people in the chat now will be like, yeah, yeah, we know Fisher. I've heard of, I know, I know the Fisher's track. And it's just, they, they will. I know they will. Um, very, very popular track. Anyway, um, so we wanted to see, okay, some of the good DJs around the Gold Coast charge 10, 15 grand a night. Yeah. Um, that's their going rate, you know. That's that. What's what they're worth? That's what they ask for. If you really want them, you'll find the money. Because at the end of the day, they're worth the money because they bring the crowd that want the beer, that make the money. You know what I mean? To sell tickets. Yeah, yeah. So you know, and there's some big Australian name DJs that ask upwards of 50, 60 grand. And I'm talking, their shows only go for an hour, so it's not. They're not. I mean, it's yeah, it's hard work. You know, you you earn it, blah 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 blah, all that kind of stuff. But to earn fifty grand a night punching buttons and jumping up and down and telling everyone to scream, you know, it's it's good bloody money. It's not bad. So Fisher being worldwide, world famous, let me put it in the chat, right? So people in the chat, for a one and a half hour show here in Surface Paradise, what do you think? And I wouldn't even call him Australia's number one DJ, definitely top 10. What do you think his uh, going rate is for an hour and a half. You can guess too, Bill. Oh. And so obviously, by the way, I'm talking about it. It's going to be what the hell. So blow up yeah. your number. So if it's going to be astronomical, it must be like upwards of 75K. So, yeah. So you got to think. It's an hour and a half. What's this bloke want for an hour and a half? Let me look in the chat. Let's see. So, yeah, Brucey said 60. Andy Bryan, 10. Do you mean 10 or 100? I'll let it. I'll let it. Uh, I'll let it. I'll let it stew for a little bit. Uh, and going back to talking about streams, Michael said, "Yeah, streams become impersonal." Exactly, and that's where ours is very. Yeah, mate. How long have you guys been watching us now for? You, you know our lives better than probably half of our mates. Yeah. Hundred k. Hundred k. Okay. Now, nah. stop the guesses. Stop the guesses. So, if your name's Fisher and you got a track. 
that's number one. You're, you're well known around the world in that scene. You're on fire. You're good at what you do. You can ask for four hundred thousand dollars for an hour and a half. What the four hundred k for an hour and a half? That's like um, Kardashian rates. So, on the list of rough going rates of DJs around the world, he's not even in the top fifty. What? So, all you youngsters out there that want to earn money. Make one or two good songs that everybody knows, and there's your rate. So, have you ever heard of a DJ called Tiesto? Yes. So, Tiesto is known for asking a million per show. Crazy. I would not Here's the worst thing. Here's, here's the other thing Tiesto is booked out for more than 12 months. Huh. Yep. Wow. So next time, if kids watch this and, you know, your parents tell you that, you know, that scratch hip-hop, hippity-hop, wiki-wiki, it's going to get you nowhere, be like, mate, mate, please, I'll buy you in one night's worth of work. Yeah. Now go wash my car or skateboard or whatever it is you drive. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, hey? Very, very. Who'd have thought? And here I am feeling guilty when I charge 500 an hour. Yes, because you haven't had that hit song yet, I guess. No, I mean, you know, I can sing Venga Boys pretty good at a wedding, but not many people want that. <laughs> but he likes to party. <laughs> Mate. On the Venga bus. <laughs> Cat, so you only earn ten dollars. <laughs> Cat, <laughs> you'd be surprised at how many gigs I do for free and how's that costing me money. Then you're doing it wrong. Pardon? Because then you're doing it wrong if you're doing it for free. All right. All right. I'll remember that. I'll remember that. Anyone asks me now for a freebie? No. Sorry, mate. My uh, manager said I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> oh, you're doing it wrong. Oh, we don't want you then. <laughs> <laughs> and the worst or the worst slash funny thing is, is the amount of work I turn down or overcharge on purpose because I don't want to do it, and they still say yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, I think I found another problem with instructions. Oh, yeah? Where? Oh, no, it's just drawn very, very badly. Step 894. I worked it out, but it's just drawn very badly. Can you see what I mean with the black studs? The black pins? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, that took me a little bit to figure out. Because it looks like it's telling you to put it down the main shaft. That's right. And, you know, you don't want to put something down the main shaft if it's wrong. <laughs> Absolutely not. Ain't nobody got time for that. I like that every um, Technic car comes with its own personalised serial number. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a cool little feature. All right, where are we up to? What are we doing? How's your father? What's our time like? Where's me? Where's my screen? Oh, Jeebus, we're four minutes over. All right, people, that is it. We're done for another night. It's just past eight o'clock here on the Gold Coast. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming in the stream. We have gone over. We could keep going. You know, we do. We have enough shit to talk about, enough stuff to build. Uh, Monday night, come back Monday night. We have our joint show with uh, Cheap Jokes and Between the Bricks. Um, and most of you guys already know this. Most of you guys come back Monday. But for those that are new tonight that have hung about, we do a Monday and a Wednesday stream at 7 p.m. Queensland time, 8 p.m. everywhere else in Australia and 3 a.m. where Riceberg lives. <laughs> um, don't forget, I know we mention it every time and we're only going to do it more and more and more now that we're getting close to finished. 
down below. Where's my finger for this one? Follow Brick Bracket. Get onto Brick Bracket, 20% off. And you've all seen mine and Bill's way we hang the Lego. It's worth it. You know, you might think, oh, and I know some, you know, not everyone's got money to burn. Like Kat, we all seen her Lego haul that she does every month. Um, so, you know, yeah, 20% off an already really good product. Can't can't push it enough. You know, we might drag on and on about it, but I guarantee the first time anyone asks you, does anyone hang Lego? I guarantee you'll think of the Brick that show. So brickbracket.co, Lambo is the code word while we build the Lambo. Other yeah, than that, see you later. See you guys.